Welcome to Port St. Lucie. This is Professor Teferro, and uh, today we're going to look at Lesson 5 of uh, Advertising and Marketing. Uh, advertising and Marketing is one of my favorite courses because uh, I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy the other courses too, but I enjoy this one a little bit more. So, um, today's topic for Advertising and Marketing is uh, how should we sell? How should we do marketing? Well, there's uh, four basic venues for marketing that I can uh, recommend. That's email, email campaigns, um, telemarketing, which I can't stand. Um, there's a website, which is extremely important for every single business. Uh, you can do a lot of good marketing on your website. And the uh, fourth uh, method of selling um, is social networking. Social networking should be included on your website, and then you can kill two birds with three stones. Uh, now, uh, let's take one at a time. Uh, email. Uh, email is good for the receiver because they can toss it if they're not interested. And if they are interested, they'll, cl they'll click through a link. Very important for you to have a link on your email. Uh, as soon as you have a link, um, then people can contact you if they're interested in uh, getting your product. How do you get people to respond to your email? That is very important. You have to have a good, um, attractive first sentence. That first sentence has to arrest the attention of the potential client. For example, um, are you tired of paying uh, high prices for mortgage rates? Uh, are you tired of paying high prices for your car insurance? Well, everybody's tired of those things, okay? <laughs> everybody's tired of paying any bills. But um, with that type of sentence, uh, when you use the word high rates or high prices, you're giving the implication that you have low prices, which is probably not true because you probably have the same prices as all the other companies. But that's not important. Uh, the truth is almost never important when you're doing advertising. Um, what's, ab what's really important is getting the attention of the potential client. Um, the potential client uh, will want to lower their insurance rates. And if you're a good company, an ethical company, you will actually lower the rates of um, the insurance rates or the mortgage rates or whatever. Um, then you have uh, social networks. Social networks are good. Um, but it's difficult to do business on social networks unless you're a larger company. Um, social networks are good for giving other people information uh, and getting information for yourself, but they're not good for selling. The, you know, uh, Facebook doesn't really sell well compared to eBay, um, so you're better off using vehicles that sell rather than vehicles that have lots of people. Um, the third uh, method of selling is telemarketing, which I abhor. Um, telemarketing uh, is an infringement on people's privacy, just like pop-up ads. I mean, I don't want to be in the kitchen, you know, cooking, and all of a sudden I get a telephone call. Oh, is this uh, so-and-so? Um, uh, we're on a recorded line. Ooh, that's very, that makes me important if we're on a recorded line. And uh, we're, you know, you notified us that you want a quote on uh, auto insurance. No, no, I don't want a quote on auto insurance, and uh, goodbye, and I hang up the phone. And I go back to my cooking, because my cooking is 10 times more important than this guy's job. And people who take telemarketing jobs have a choice of maybe four jobs. They can, um, you know, bag, bag goods at uh, Walmart or bag goods at uh, Publix, or they can... Um, uh, big on the street, or they become telemarketers. Those are your four choices. So, um, in any event, um, telemarketing is probably not the best venue to uh, create sales for your company. That it's a a area of desperation. People who are telemarketers are desperate. People who have these telemarketing um, jobs are desperate. People who um, utilize telemarketing for sales are desperate. Um, the fourth venue for sales, um, which I found to be you know, really useful, is um, websites. You have to have a good website which um, has good photos, good text, uh, short text, attention-grabbing text, 
just like the emails. And you also have to have social networking on your website so that you're able to incorporate the two assets of social networking and websites together in one place. That to me is probably the best approach to sales. So now you have four basic areas that you can consider for implementing your sales and marketing campaigns. Good luck with your choices. Until next time, this is Professor Teferro from Port St. Lucie, and uh, everyone take care. Bye-bye.